In this lesson, you will learn how to convert linear equations from standard form to slope-intercept form. Notice that in slope-intercept form, the x term is on the right side, while in standard form, it is on the left side. So, our first step is to move the x term to the right side. We do this by subtracting it from both sides. In our example, we subtract 7x from both sides. On the left side, these cancel out, leaving us with 5y. On the right side, we get negative 7x plus 10. Here, we write the x term first, then the constant term, to match the slope-intercept form. Again, notice that in slope-intercept form, the y variable is by itself. So, our next step is to isolate y. We do this by dividing both sides by the coefficient of y. Remember to divide every term in the equation. These cancel out, leaving y by itself. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now, the equation is in slope-intercept form. In this form, the coefficient of x is the slope, and the y-intercept is the point 0, comma b. So, the slope of our equation is negative 7 over 5, and the y-intercept is 0, comma 2. Let's work on another example to help you understand better. First, move x to the right side by subtracting it from both sides. Next, isolate y by dividing both sides by negative 3. Make sure to divide every term. These cancel out, leaving y. The negative signs cancel out, leaving 1 third x. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4, right? Now the equation is in slope-intercept form. We can see that the slope is 1 over 3, and the y-intercept is 0, 4, right? To convert slope-intercept form back to standard form, check the link in the description below. But first, let's work on our last example, which is slightly more challenging. First, subtract 6x from both sides to move it to the right side. Then, divide both sides by 8 to isolate y. These cancel out. If we divide both negative 6 and 8 by 2, it reduces to negative 3 over 4, right? Remember to always simplify fractions as you go. Negative 24 divided by 8 is negative 3. Now, the equation is in slope-intercept form. The slope is negative 3 over 4, and the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 3, right? Before we end, let's take a look at a general case. We will convert this to slope-intercept form. By the way, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. The steps remain the same. First, move the x term to the right side by subtracting it from both sides. Then, isolate y by dividing both sides by its coefficient. These cancel out. Now we have the equation in slope-intercept form. If you compare them, you can see that the slope is negative a over b, and the y-intercept is 0, c over b. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.